The last thing I want to look at with Plan and Profile is federated uh, workflows. So let's take a look at what I mean by federated workflows. Now, so far, we looked at a workflow where our name boundaries and our sheets are in the same file. Now, remember, we started in a blank file, which is great. We referenced in our geometry, terrain, and our corridor. But we put all the name boundaries and all the sheets in the same file. But what if I wanted to break them up? What if I wanted to put all of our name boundaries in one file? For example, plan and profile, maintenance of traffic, things like that. And I want to put all of our sheets in a separate file. Can you do that? Well, absolutely, you, you can. Um, and so I want to show you how to do that. So here I am. I'm in my Windows Explorer. Notice there's my, my three files. I've got a corridor, a geometry, and a terrain. So I'm going to go... Um, everything's there, so I'm going to come in here, and uh, I'm going to create uh, some new files. I'm gonna, the first file I'm going to create, I'm going to cr create one called Route 97, um, and let's call it uh, Name Boundaries. So this is the file that I want to put all of my name boundaries in. Okay, and this is I'm just going to make sure this is a 2D file, and we will open, uh, we'll save and open this file. Okay, so this is my name boundary file. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and attach whatever files I may need for this. And I'm just going to attach my terrain corridor and geometry um, so I can get a, a good idea of where everything fits and everything. And so we did just like we did earlier, but this time it's called um, name boundaries. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is something a little bit different. I'm going to go to my model, my default model, and I'm going to rename it. And I'm going to call it Route 97, which is the name of my road. And I'm going to call it MOT name boundaries. So in this model, I want to put name boundaries for clipping out my MOT sheets. All right. Now I'm going to create a second model in this same file. And I'm going to call this one Route 97 Plan Pro name boundaries. Say so, OK. And so I got two models one that I want to put my plan and profile name boundaries, and the other that I want to do some maintenance of traffic sheets. So I'm going to come back here into the um, into the name uh, into the name boundaries model for MOT, and this time for for mains of traffic, I want to do plan plan. So I select the seed I want to use. I select the uh, scale. Um, I can put in a name for my individual name boundaries. I'm going to select the alignment that I want to use. Once again, I'm going to start at 12 plus 000. zero zero zero. So we lock that in. I'm going to give it a new group name. I'm going to call this Route 97 MOT. So I know this is a, a, a group. All of these belong to maintenance of traffic. And I'm just going to dynamically slide along there. And let's do, let's do six of them, okay, since we're doing plan plan. All right. So at this point, um, those, are, those are placed and we're good to go. Now, let's go back over to our plan and profile model. Okay, in the same file, just a different model. And once again, I'm going to reference in any information that I feel I might need. So I'm just going to reference in my previously as I did my um, terrain and my corridor and my geometry. And I'm ready to uh, place my name boundaries. So we'll do something very similar to what we did earlier. We go to the plan, uh, plan and profile seed file. Um, we got our scale set. We put in our name. In this case, our sheets are plan and profile uh, sheets as opposed to MOT sheets. We identify the uh, alignment. I also want to start these at 12 plus 000. zero. Okay. I'm not going to create a drawing uh, or anything like that. Uh, the group name, I'm going to create a new great group name called Route, uh, Route 97 Plan Pro. All right. And we'll just place four of those in there like we did um, a little bit earlier. Now because these are plan and profile sheets, I'm going to do just like I did earlier. We're going to open the profile. And I know we're going a little quickly here, but we've already gone through this this process, so you should be uh, familiar <clears throat> with this. I've opened my profile. We'll go back up, up, open the place name boundary tool, select profile. We've got the proper seed uh, selected. Um, our scale looks good. Um, our name is Route 97 PP Prof 1. 
from the plan group because we're doing plan and profile. Um, notice there's two groups though. Be careful here. I've already created an MOT. I want to select the proper plan group in this case, which is plan pro. Okay. And um, we can give it a group name here for our plan pros, uh, for our profiles, Route 97. Um, and we'll just call it uh, plan pro vertical. Okay. Um, everything else should be set. Uh, we'll just hit a data point. We'll place our four sheets and our name boundaries are done. Okay. Now, this file is done. We've created all of our name boundaries. We put our maintenance of traffic in the MOT model, okay, as we saw as do earlier, and we put our plan profile name boundaries in the plan and profile model. Okay, so those are those are complete. All right. Now at this point I'm going to show you how we can federate this even further. I'm going to create a new file. And this is the file. I'm going to actually uh, let's let's create one first here. I'm going to call this one Route 97 MOT Sheets. Okay. So again, we'll just make sure this is 2D, and we'll save this. So this is Route 97 MOT Sheets. So this is going to be a blank file, um, nothing in it. This is where I want all of my maintenance of traffic sheets to go. So the first thing is I'm going to reference in the terrain geometry and the corridor. Okay, so we'll just OK all of three. Now, now this is where this is the uh, important part here. I've referenced in all my information, but now I need to reference in my name boundaries, which I created. So I'm going to reference from the Route 97 name boundaries. Notice I'm going to pick the right model. Very important. I'm cl clipping MOT sheets, so I want to clip the. I want to reference in the model for the MOT name boundaries. So I'm going to select the proper model. Say OK and my name boundaries come in. Now at this point I can go to my name boundary manager. Notice that even though they're in a reference file they get recognized. So again they're, those name boundaries are not in this file. They're in a reference file but they do get recognized even so. So once they show up I've got all the same capabilities. I can right click on these and we can right click and say create the plan drawing. Okay, if you want to show that secondary dialog, you can toggle that on. And I'll just do that in this scenario so you can see how that works. So when you, you get the secondary dialog, um, again, you can add the sheet index, do anything like that that you want to do. We're just going to say OK. And it's going to process our maintenance of traffic sheets into this file. And you can see Obviously, they are double plan, which is what we what we asked for. Okay. All right. So that kind of shows you how to federate the workflow for for the uh, for the MOT. Now I want to go do the plan and profile sheets. So I'm going to create a new file called Route 97 uh, Plan Pro. Okay. And we'll just again make sure this is 2D. We'll save that. So again, this is a blank file that I want to put my plan and profile sheets into. So I'm going to attach first the information that I need, uh, corridor, geometry, terrain, as we've done several times now. So we'll just OK to all three of those and bring those in. Alrighty, and so if we fit, you can see them there. But remember, I also need to reference in the name boundaries for the plan and profile. So I'm going to go to reference Route 97, and this time I'm going to select the model Route 97 Plan Pro Name Boundaries. Okay, I'm going to say OK. Now, they show up there in plan, which we would expect. Now, I need to open the profile. Okay, if we're going to clip plan and profile sheets, I need to open the profile, make sure everything is good there. So I'll open the pro profile model across a reference file. Um, we'll just put it in the view. Now, you'll notice when they first come up, you don't see anything. Okay, that's because my name boundaries are not in this model. But there's a new icon that's been added here. So when you bring this up across a reference like this, there's a new icon at the top right there. Um, if I hover over it, it's called Attach All Profile Views. So if you click on this icon, it will actually go out, find those name boundaries, and bring them in. So I'm just going to click on it, um, Attach All Profile Views, and it'll automatically my name boundaries will show up. So at this point, um, 
there's nothing in this file. This is strictly for planning profile sheets, but I've referenced in all the information that I need. So again, I can go straight to the uh, name boundary manager. I can, um, you can see both of my plan and profile groups are recognized across reference files. And so we can just right click and say create the plan profile drawing. In this case, we decided not to show the secondary dialog, and here are my plan and profile drawings created in a sheet all by them, all by themselves. Okay. So that's how you can fed that. That's the power. Again, you don't have to do this, but that's the power that's built into these tools to allow you to federate your workflows just about any way that you that you need to. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.